I mean, what, at this point, what's better? What's better? Cops who use less force to, I don't know if they get a job done, or cops who are so scared to use force that they, they don't know how to use force that once they do, they use too much fucking force, and then all of a sudden, that's where the accidents and the danger and the public outcry and all this shit happens, and you're like, oh, my God, police brutality. Yeah, it's because cops are too afraid to do their job, and when they're so afraid to do their job, their body doesn't kick in, and they're going to fight or flight, and they're going to be in fight. End of story. Be sure to buy your copy of Before the Badge, everything you need to know before you become a cop. Available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and wordsmatterpublishing.com. All right, let's look at this one. All I know is this is from Oceanside Police Department, filmed outside of a Target. I don't know when. Thanks to uh, BJJ.Cops over on Instagram for putting this one out there. We're going to look at it. We'll break it down together. Let's take, uh, let's take a look. Let's check this out again without the thematic score that's going on here. All right, there. Uh, again, I know nothing about what happened before this. I think I said read something in the news where it said it was uh, a subject was driving erratically. So whatever point this got out to, the cop felt needed uh, to go to Taser, whatever the circumstance is. I know that when the Taser first came out, it was on the same use of force scale <laughs> as the OC spray was. But the problem is, as you're going to see here, Taser was so fucking abused by cops because it was the same use of force continuum as the OC spray, and then later was changed to uh, uh, impact weapon, baton. Um, it was just, I, I've used the Taser three times, three times, and it had less desired effect than what they sold me on when the X-26 was used on Hans Marrero in that video that we all saw. Holy shit, this is going to stop everybody. The, the Taser shit. I don't like the Taser. End of story. Uh, because it does this. It teaches cops like this to be conditioned to relying on a tool that does not work all of the time. It just doesn't. I mean, I don't know what it is. Uh, the guy's bigger than the cop, whatever. I don't care about that either. If you do the job, you do the job. And let's go through this. Taser's deployed. Okay, doesn't have the desired effect. I don't mind that running. If you're going to run, to do run. Get in a better tactical position. That's fine. I don't think he's running away. I think he's gaining distance because he's got, you know, a, 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 still that taser after the, the, the barbs are deployed. It's a drive stun weapon. So, yeah, you know what? You can use it, but here's my view. If the involuntary muscle control and the 18 pulses per second uh, uh, of the taser was not taking that guy out of uh, play, then I don't think the drive stun on that smaller surface area is going to do it. So he's repositioning himself. I don't want to mock him for running away. God knows I don't think I could run. I'd be, I'd be out of breath with those five steps he took. All right, he repositions himself. He's backing up. He goes to the baton, goes to the baton, and was, the subject is still advancing. Now, I don't know if the subject is armed at all, right? We have no idea what's under that waistband, so I don't, I, I, no clue. Clearly, the cop wasn't able to search him for weapons or pat him down, so he still could be a threat with this state of mind, too. Eh, you know, he's got a weapon that's going to be deadly force instantly that the cop would be lawfully able to use, but let's keep going. Guy's not looking. Guy gets hit in the, okay. The strikes on, the, here. I don't like the baton either because unless you really, I've used the baton once again. It's like, all right, uh, pain compliance. No. And unless you hit that big nerve that runs along the side of the thigh, you know, like you Muay Thai boxers love to kick. How many times when you see in an MMA fight, does it take a Muay Thai guy to kick the shit out of somebody's thigh before they're out of commission? 
You're talking five, six, ten kicks. This is one hit. You may hit him in the hand or whatnot. It's not going to have the desired effect. So at this point, he's got to gain distance, gain distance, gain distance, put away his collapsible baton. I don't know if your squad is open. I mean, that's, well, it's clearly open. I don't know if it's running or whatnot. Goes to the car. I don't have as much problem with this as people think, to a degree, to a degree. Now, this cop, don't know him, no idea. He comes from the ask, tell, make, I don't want to do my job generation. Now, what is that? My generation was ask, tell, make. Sir, put your hands behind your back, please, asking. Doesn't want to do it. Put your hands behind your back. Doesn't do it. I'm going to put him behind your back for you, period. This generation, they don't want to do that because they're afraid of the politicians. This is clear. This I can't go with everybody shitting on this guy, and I'm going to be a little bit unpopular for this. He's gaining a position. He's moving back. The tactics aren't working. This guy is bigger, and if you've ever been in this circumstance, it's kind of like, oh, shit. But I will say this right there. Let's back up to this right there. Here we go. Okay. Guy's got distance. He clearly doesn't want to engage. Boom! Freeze this! I got to freeze this right here. Let's go back to this one. Fuck all you politicians. Every single one of you legislative, never done a day of work in your fucking life job politicians uh, who just do not know what this job entails. This, the second he gives him his back, we already know this cop is quick. We already know he can move. This is the perfect, prime, optimal tactic position to slip in a rear naked choke and end this. I'm going to tell you, because this is how some of you scumbag lawyers are and the citizens out there as well, too. Uh, if, if, if the rear naked choke was allowed, right, let's just say it was a tactic and the cop doesn't to put it in here, and the guy drives off. Another guy drives down the road, kills a family of five who's driving there. I'm going to sue the cop for not doing the rear naked choke. We have seen mountains of just it, just mountains and mountains of evidence of the effectiveness of the safest tactical combative move technique in the history of all martial arts: the rear naked choke. It is one of the easiest to employs, one of the hardest to defends, and, and the, in my opinion, in my opinion, the, it's safer than a punch. It is safer than punching a victim in the face who could probably go down, hit their head then, and then die right there. Rear naked choke, you put the motherfucker to sleep, and there you go. End of story. I, I have a problem with this video only in the fact that Again, tactically wise, Taser doesn't work, and I think far you too many cops are dependent upon Taser. I don't have a problem with this because he's regaining a position. And I know a lot of you guys are giving him shit online. Fine. He goes to the baton. Well, that's not gonna fucking work. He at this point, dude, at this point, what are you some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, oh, you're gonna shoot him? Well, how many witnesses does he have? He's unarmed. If this motherfucker was black, oh God. And he shot him, be done. Now, if that was a female cop there, could you articulate that she was okay to shoot him? I don't know. I, I don't have a problem it, it, the more I watch this. Because tactically, he's keeping his distance. Yeah, the guy got back in the car, but to be honest, what what is the... What is the crime or the offense right now? Reckless driving. Guy might be clearly impaired, but we don't know that. Guy might be out of his fucking mind that the cop could use deadly force to detain him. What is he detaining him from? See, there's resisting, obstructing, all this shit that's great. Again, he's just, he's tactically gaining a position, smart enough to back up, collapse the baton, put it away. But then it's like from here, all right, now if the guy goes and he kills a family of five, whose fault is it? Who's liable for it? Right, it's like the police chase is on. So I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what happened before this. Did the, did the cop go hands on? Was he out of breath? They're clearly out of the car. I don't. I think to be honest, this is a prime example. If you, especially if you're one on one, where a rear naked choke would save the motherfucking day. So for everybody who watches this, giving this cop shit, I'm going to give him some credit because he gained tactical distance. He was safe on that. Um, 
You know, what's he supposed to do? He's supposed to grapple with a guy. I don't know what this guy's fucking background of the cop is, but that could be, you know, I'm going to tell you too, after all the years of wrestling I've done, Wing Chun, I, no, it's, you don't want to grapple with all that fucking duty gear on. But that rear naked choke, man, boom, right in that position there. Oh, shit. That would have that would have ended things. As soon as he turned his back, boom, rear naked choke, slide it in. That's it. All you politicians out there, this is all your fault. You guys are hiring shitty cops, cops who don't know how to sit there and do the job, cops who, you know what? I mean, what, at this point, what's better? What's better? Cops who use less force to, I don't know if they get a job done, or cops who are so scared to use force that they, they don't know how to use force that once they do, they use too much fucking force. And then all of a sudden, that's where the accidents and the danger and the public outcry and all this shit happens. And you're like, oh, my God, police brutality. Yeah, it's because cops are too afraid to do their job. And when they're so afraid to do their job, their body doesn't kick in and they're going to fight or flight and they're going to be in fight. End of story. So that's that. I don't know. I'm not giving this cop that much uh, shit on this one. It's a shitty circumstance um, for some. For some. But then again, too, you get what you pay for. And if this is what we're putting on the streets... And if this is uh, the criminal that we're allowing to be on the streets because we don't prosecute, and this is what the uh, politicians put into place so the cops can't do their job, and you get what you fucking vote for. Be safe out there, guys.